previously on the NoVP channel. Oh no. And coming up. It's awful. Stop swearing. You're always swearing. Oh, again with this. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia Channel is made possible thanks to our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive Garbo. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you, this snaffy! Oh, that cat. You might be able to edit around it, though. Edit around it? Well, some of it. Who do you think? I don't have ASC after my name. What's wrong with ASC? Nova, open a book. Oh, Canada. That's old Lang Zion, you twat. Charlotte. Okay, look, we can't hide the fact that you can hear the cat. There's no way around that. <laughs> Listen. Oh. Well, we're fucked now for the next two. Alright, there's no way around. There's no way around it. I think he will tire himself out eventually. Shut your little when. fucking gob. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so mean to him. No, what are Peter gonna do? Come round? They don't get me where I live. Welcome to this Novimpia treat for the ages. Doesn't the Canadi Canadian national anthem sound like that? Okay, first of all, before we get into that, something like that. We are Nova and Olympia here to ruin your day. There we go. There we go. We were sent a box of Canadian snacks a little while ago from a very lovely follower of ours, cultist Elizabeth. And not my words, not our words. <laughs> People got in the comments and said, you know, that's not good. I feel like this always happens. We'll do a regional snack box that someone has lovingly prepared and put together for us. And then people that live in the respective country in the comments would be like, oh my God, they didn't even send you X, Y, and Z. This is not a good box. I could do better. Everyone thinks they can do better. I mean, listen, it's not, it's not for us to say. You know, someone said, oh, Elizabeth can blow it out her ass. That wasn't us. I think this is the first time somebody's actually sent like a- A redemption box. Yeah, like a sequel. To be fair, the title of the video we put out was Canadian Candy is the Worst. So we were kind of full going down that same point of view. And you know, apparently, yes, we were not given a very accurate representation of Canadian snack foods. Maybe that was just Elizabeth's personal preference and she's, you know, she lost her taste in some sort of weird gardening accident or something. <laughs> right. So we'd like to thank cultist Shannon for, say, for sending us this enormous box of snacks. And we're gonna try and get through every last bit it of it. It is really quite large. I wonder if if Shannon was like, oh, you know what though? If I just send a shit ton of stuff, they'll like something. There'll be something in there. Maybe. Cast a really, really wide net and just hope that something. Oh, but how are you though? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, I'm, a, I'm very aware that we have a cat it's, like outside of this room. It's like he pretend- He absolutely hates the closed door. Pretend you don't hear it though. It's really hard, isn't it? I don't know, at what point does it become abusive? Don't tell me what to do, you sneaky bitch. I mean, he's literally fine. He just doesn't like the fact that we closed the door on him. We will do a video about him at some point. All you need to know is that he's very loud and we had to throw away his pooper scoop and replace it with a frying pan. <laughs> because he- We did have to get a bigger one. They're so big though. I don't yeah. understand that You know what he's got in the bedroom? He's like a horse. You know he's got in the bedroom? What do you mean? in the bedroom. When? Just now? Well, I saw it in the litter box. I haven't cleaned it up. Why not? Because I am like, I look like this. That seems very fitting to scoop up <laughs> shit. We're going to start with our Canadian snack box, but before we get into it, Nova, we have a sponsor for today's video. No, oh, you're joking. We do. Do we? Can you guess who it is? Is it Tide Whale? What's Tide Whale? No, it's not. It's you... Surfshark. <laughs> Surfshark is a virtual private network that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet so your personal data is protected. Which is already so sick, but also if you download Surfshark VPN, you can swap the real location of your device with an entirely new one. Which means if you're outside of the UK or whichever country, you can use Surfshark to change your location and you'll immediately have access to a much wider range of content. And they've got servers in 100 countries, so chances are you'll be covered. Okay, so no 
Nova and I are in a bit of a globe trotting phase at the moment. We're watching international versions of The Traitors, but also the Bake Off. Luther, stop this. Oh. So we've just finished the Brazilian Bake Off and now, thanks to Surfshark, we've switched to Netflix Canada because we've now found the great Canadian Bake Off. So I'm about to learn how to do a croque en bouche. For all of our American viewers, by switching to the UK, you can also access additional content on Netflix like RuPaul's Drag Race. You can also use Surfshark to get better prices on hot items like airline tickets or just to mask your internet traffic from your ISP. It's also available for download on all your devices with unlimited logins. There is absolutely no risk in trying Surfshark VPN because they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're looking for a new VPN or looking to upgrade your existing one, then check out the link in the description box below. By using the code NOVIMPIA, you can get 83% off plus an extra three months for free. So check out the link below and thank you again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Oh, cheers then. And sayonara. That's not Canadian, is it? That's Japanese. No. Is that Japanese? I mean, I'm sure they've got Japanese people in Canada. It's, I don't think that's an indigenous act, language to no. Canada. Sayonara. No. Japanese. No. You really didn't know I could speak Japanese though, did you? Was there a letter that came with this book? Watashi wa Olympia. She's... She's tried to put him in the bedroom. Did it work? Yeah, he's in the bedroom. Well, your face is covered in scratches and blood. <laughs> but he has food, water, toys, a bed. Don't say box. toys. He is absolutely fine in the bedroom for an hour or so. The letter reads, Hi girls, are you ready for another round of crappy Canadian cack? I know I am. So <laughs> cue the snafu. Lots of love, Shannon. Now listen, let's oh, just- great alliteration. Let's... Crappy Canadian cack. Like a fat kid on a pack of smarties. Would you like to start with something out of Shannon's crappy Canadian But so, That's not food. What's that? There's a few little extra parcels on the top of this. So this one I love gifts. Oh Olympia my God, I love that. This one says Nova. We've been gifted some bits. And then there's a pack here of cat bits. So this ma got? this goes with my outfit so well. I just don't know if I can get it on this hair though. Oh my god, I actually kind of can. It actually fits. And it goes with the purple. It teams with the theme. The bats are really cute. Now tell me that is not adorable. Oh, it goes so well. You look ridiculous. Well, I can't wear It's red and I'm wearing pink and it clashes. But it is really cute. Oh my god, thank you I so like much. I like this Alice band. This hairband oh. is super stretchy, which is really good for like going on top of wigs. Oh, look at these earrings. They're little petals. Can you see the petals? Oh my god, these are Stunning. This is better than what Nova got me for Christmas, which is nothing, by the way. It's at the post office. Christmas was so long ago. Look how beautiful these earrings are. I can't even get over it. <laughs> oh, they're so you. They're a little too much. They're really, really You cute. are summer as a, as a season, I think. Thanks, that's really nice. I'm dead winter. of winter. Your winter, definitely the winter. Cold-hearted snake. <laughs> What's that bleach? Oh, it's a pack of very broken. <laughs> Emily DeForest, that's a rainmaker. And I don't, and I want a rainmaker. Do you have a rainmaker, Emily DeForest? No. Yeah, and also, come here, you fucker. <laughs> come here, you fucker. Emily DeForest was called a fucker once, which I, we talk about it all the time. Oh no, that is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my Sorry, entire life. Sorry, uh, Shannon, can you just send another one? This one's broken. <laughs> it's broken, darling. Wanna be, wanna be, wanna make her. Zoe Wanna Do you remember Zoe Wanna Make Her? <laughs> she had a really sexy voice, didn't she? Looked like a lesbian, probably isn't it? So, uh, do we get these here? Yeah. Oh. They're Walker's mm. answer to Pringles. Well, I've never tried them, but that's better than a Pringle, I would say. Mmm. Are I, Pringles made out of potato or are they corn? What? I didn't have any corn! They're great. I'd eat the whole pack of those. That's not food. Clay do. Do do. It's a dinosaur. What's clay do? Clay do. Make your own friends. Are you suggesting we don't have any friends? Well, you're a real fucking loser. Okay, so this is make your own dinosaur out of clay do. This is Flotonia. Laureen. Flotonia. <laughs> this looks really messy. And this looks like something I want to do when we have more time. But I appreciate both of these hot items. Oh, I prefer this though. Humpty Dumpty Party Mix Original. Trevor, 
Humpty Dumpty. Mix it up with every handful of party mix, the perfect combination of fun, crunchy snacks and a fiesta of flavours. I have never seen this before in my life. Yeah, but do you not remember Humpty Dumpty? Probably. That bird who sang Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. I've no idea what you're talking about. You will know and you will be scared. Humpty Dumpty. When you see it. It was quite scary. Um, oh! It just looks like a mix of like leftover crisps from a party. I wonder if this is like a standard fare at children's parties. I wouldn't combine. So, what have we got then? There's like a hula mm. hoop. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, are you joking? What did you eat? The hula hoop. Well, I didn't have the hula hoop. Oh, it's ghastly. What's that supposed to be? Oh no, 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 baby. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> There's like these Cheeto things, there's like broken tortilla chips, and hula hoops. Which I don't understand mixing that all together. Melange oh fiesta. My God. single tear just fell out of your face. It's been said before and I'm gonna say it again. I appreciate everything that's sent to me. I'm gonna be honest though, and I wouldn't feed that to like a dying nun. I really like that. That doesn't make any sense, does it? What's it? <laughs> who's, a die who's a nun that's dying? That's Listen, I'm I Christmas. couldn't open this the last time. Now I've decided now I'm gonna open this the first time. Wow, we can dip this in it. Dante. That's really, really exciting. This is interesting. This is a flavor of Doritos called Dynamiter, and it says made on Fabric O Canada. What's that? That's oh, the bins. But the bins was yesterday. Got to put the bins out. But the bins was yesterday. What day's bins? Yesterday. Right. Doritos Dynamiter. This is a Canadian chili lime burn. Now that looks like a Takis. Do you remember they the rolled do up look like Takis? Yep. And we love those. And I don't know if you can get Takis here. Miss Dynamite. They look exactly like Takis. Can I dip into this? Because I don't. Think I no, but you like... can't taste it fully now. You have to taste a plain one first, and then you go in for a dip. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh no! I'm not being... Oh. <laughs> As if he went back for a second. Miss Dynamite. Oh my is god! Muy picante. Oh, they weren't lying, those bastards! Ooh! So they're really, really nice, but I could not have those without dip. Get out of my mouth, my boo! My boo! My boo! I can't handle that because I'm a little pussy bitch. It's diluted. I like that everything's written in French as well. Do you know why there is, Nova? Because of Canada. Why though? Because they speak Canadian French. Name me a Canadian French person that is not Celine Dion. <laughs> dill pickle crisps. Now, I, I've i never tried a dill pickle crisp, but I imagine that would be good. They're very pale. Oh my God, that smells like dill. Oh, dill. They're really nice. <laughs> if I can get some with some Why real- Why is there something about them that tastes almost like a bit fishy? Dill is in like tartar sauce, maybe that's yeah. it. Yeah. I'm gonna get some with some real, like some real estate. I mean, it's a dip that's good. You just like the dip. Oh. I think we had these in the last box. Mm. And we must have liked them. Shannon can share a bit with us tonight. You'll enjoy this bag of Ruffles all dressed chips. If you enjoy unique Canadian foods, you're seeking something sweet and salty and savory all in one bag. You love eating chips that will make your taste buds feel like they are going to explode. Wait, Huge. so hang on, what's the flavor of them though? All dressed. Sweet, salt, and what was it saying? Is it like paprika? And savory. That's not much on there. You went, eh. Mm. They're amazing. I would drink this. They're amazing. Oh, those chips are great. Listen, Shannon, you've fucking done it. You've reinvested our faith 
in Canada, you know, because it was gone for a while. What the fuck is that? Cheers. We have some drink. I've got a drink. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> this dip is life changing. Oh no. I don't like wasabi. Peanut mixed with rice crackers. Gourmet. Gourmet? Gourmet? I'll try one, but wasabi does taste like a hot butt. Can I have like half of it? Come on. Oh, it tastes like a bum. Oh my god. Quick, quick, <laughs> quick. Oh, oh. What? How long have you been there for? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh oh it's like a fucking toilet it's like a urinal cake oh for god's sake <laughs> oh no i need to wash that down <laughs> these are nice baked green pea snacks harvest snaps feel my soul slide out of my ass i feel like i recognize the name harvest snaps from calby we had a lot of calby stuff in the last box also harvey kinkle they smell nice. Do you remember Harvey Kinkle? They look a bit like chipsticks. I never liked chipsticks. I thought they were so, like, shit. I don't really like them. Oh, do I like them? Oh, the aftertaste is, is, is That's quite strange. nice. That's strange. It's like a chips... What are they called? Chipsticks. It's like a bland, I don't know, some sort of Greta Thunberg. Version. But then afterwards it tastes like mushy peas. Oh, tackies. Actual tackies. Oh, wait. Oh, but are these going to be a spicy? Away go. You know what these I just, were amazing, these. You know what I just put in? Well. Fuego. Hot chili pepper and lime. So I really liked these because you could actually taste the lime. No, I'm sorry. How have you just opened that? Oh. How is that convenient for anyone? Mm. Are they good? They're nicer than the Dorito Dynamite things. Because these are like sweet. They have that kind of heat where it only hits afterwards and it feels like it's on the verge of being really intense, but it just is a nice middle point. My boo. I'm gonna save myself and not have any more of these. Crunchy Cheetos cheddar jalapeno. Again, spicy cheese is always good. I can't remember if we get Cheetos here. Do we get Cheetos here? Oh my God. They're really good. Mm. Oh, bye, the fish. Uh, crunchy croquant. He looks like, what's he called? What's that prick called? Jeremy Sotter. You knew who I meant. I'm gonna fart on Carol. So you agree. You think you're really pretty. <laughs> Why didn't you answer that? That was awkward. Plantain chips for plantain. Oh, plantains are so adorable, aren't they? What was that? Decrepit piece of to- You had a lot of those. A toilet roll. Do you remember I just found that weird saggy piece of toilet roll oh. in the windows? Well, why did you take so many for? You're so stupid. Looks like a banana, a cross section of a of un banan. They're fucking horrible. Oh wow. It tastes like I've I've just bitten into oh an unripe god. banana, peel and all. Oh god, it's like Peggy Mitchell's pussy. Cheesies. Hawkins cheesies. This looks like they're so violently orange. This looks like it's gonna be. Something that's probably like illegal in Europe because it's so many E numbers. This is going to be like cheesy, cheesy good. Well, no, but cheesy does it. No, <laughs> oh, like weird. Look at that. <laughs> What is a witch's finger? You know when people are like dirty and they say witch's finger, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Does that not mean something really rude? I've never heard of a before. A witch's finger never a witch's kiss. <laughs> they're not as good as I was hoping. I say it's kind of stale. They're good, they're just like big, weird, puffy Cheetos. They're not as flavoursome as I was hoping. I feel like these are really, really old. Maybe they're like a super classic Canadian staple cheesies. They're good though, look, vry fromage cheddar. On my do fromage. Sounds agents no deconservation. Oh my do fromage. On my do fromage. <laughs> Is that Dexter's lab? Oh, she got it. I was hoping that might go on for a bit longer. Oh my do fromage. Well, considering you didn't like them, you're putting them away, aren't you? Hmm. Cheesy bitch. I've got an aperitif now. What does that mean? It's like a small bird. Have some drinks. 
So this is two cans of Rockstar Energy Drink, which we do get in the UK. So it is a bird. Oh. Oh my God. Here at the November Channel, you don't get just excellent outfits, you get some sick wordplay. We do get this in the UK. Um, I've never tried it before, so I don't know how to compare it. This will probably be very different to the UK one though. What's Rockstar? I've never even heard of it. So we've got Punched. And they followed us down here. And then this is the OG. This is a Boyson Energy Zont. So in the UK, these Oh, energy drink. Are about <laughs> twice the height. So they're energy drinks. Yeah, but What's... I have seen these in the shop. This is, that's Fruit Punch and this is just original. Well, that stings. That smells like Red Bull. Do you know, I had a monster energy drink at DragCon just to keep my energy at levels going. I've never had one in my life. Oh my God, there's a little star in the ring tab thing. Don't say star in the ring. I literally felt like A, I was 15. B, I was working at CEX. I couldn't believe it. I felt so young and youthful and without deodorant. This is really tasty. That tastes like Red Bull. It tastes like monster. They all taste the same. What is that flavor? What is that? Oh yeah, that, oh, oh. Oh, pussy. Well, if you'd like to keep that one, I'll have this one. No, this one's nice, no. though. Oh. Bite him, drink him, chew him. Nickel, nickel, nickel nip. Nickel, nickel nip. Nickel nip. Universe. So you can drink it. Artificially flavoured mini drinks. Yeah, but then you eat the packaging afterwards. It's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Do you ever he eats the cup? Bite him, drink him, chew him. Is it like boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew? You would have a queen. Oh, it's wax. It's wax. What yeah, the fuck sorry. is the point in that then? Wait, so you just chew? This is horrible. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Although, this isn't bad actually, the, the shit inside. It's disgusting. It's like syrup. Well, what if flavor is yours? Shit. Maybe we could save the wax and make some sort of sculpture for Christmas. How absolutely bizarre. Jesus, the bastard child. We didn't get a bin, did we? No, where did I spit that, that poo ball earlier on? You know it's what? a rubber poo. So this is um, a very delicate jelly poo. Oh my God. Oh. Go and get the fan in here immediately. No. <laughs> Just zoom in on that bit of wall there. Oh. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> what the fuck is Who wants that though? It's just sitting. I can't believe what it. What is that? Twizzlers. Oh no. Those fuckers! So this is the licorice. So we've had strawberry Twizzlers before and I thought they were disgusting. Oh wait, so maybe these ones are great. All oh, that smells nice. Now the Twizzlers we got in the last Canadian snack the video ones are horrible. were devoid of flavor. It was literally just like chewing on Plastic, a cable from yeah. behind your TV. Considering that smells so strongly of licorice, there sure as shit isn't any flavor. What is the deal with Twizzlers? Who's buying them? For what purpose? Weak. Weak! Oh, Twizzlers, I just want a word. Popping candy bonbons, three packs. No, read it what it says properly, look. Popping, Popping petalance. That's so sweet. I don't even know what that is, but petalance. Oh yeah. Stop it. Oh no, don't do that. Maybe no one's tried this. There's just no flavor to it. Actually, that's really not bad. I can see the carbon dioxide coming out of your mouth. These are just smarties. Don't be ungrateful. Bitch! Your necklace has gone a bit funny. Would you stop trying to show off my nipple? So Canadian you know smarties might be different to ours. So smarties in a box reminds me of the one and only party bag. You would get little ones, little box of smarties. Yeah, my grandmother used to knit <gasps> tiny, tiny stockings to put on the Christmas tree and they would fit oh. one individual tiny kids box of Smarties. I never loved Smarties though, I must say, like they weren't my favorite. No, Plus exactly the, as I remember them. The hidden surprise of the orange chocolate. Orange Smarties is orange chocolate. No. Oh. They fucking used to be. No. Yeah. That sounds like a myth. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That crunchy. <laughs> so this, why is that different to ours? Yes, it's a Cadbury crunchy, but this looks like it could be different to our crunchies. The packaging is <gasps> very different. Shannon, you have sent so much stuff and we are very, very grateful for it. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quick reminder to everyone at home again, we like to share all of our gifts with friends and neighbors. So none of this food is going to waste. I do love a crunchy. You do. Now, mm. is that the same? Mm. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. It's not honeycomb though, is it? What is it? Um, Made out of toffee. Crunchies is a firm favorite here. I think if people, you were to ask mm. people what their favorite candy bar is, I'm sure Crunchy would be right up there. The chocolate tastes slightly different though. But yep, is that I'm because you're a traitor? Now Cadbury is like number one chocolate brand here, I would say. That does taste a bit different to me. Nicer. This is something I've never tried before. Peanuts. <laughs> Barbecue corn nuts. I Do not give product to savory. children. All right. I don't know if this is supposed to be sweet or savoury. What, a barbecue nut? We learned that Nova would never be a chef. Oh, they're dreadful regardless. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Shannon. It's like the shell. It's only... Ooh. You're a pig. It tastes like Mexico. You've never been to Mexico. That's what it tastes like. How would you have any fucking concept of that? Because you bought an old El Paso fajita kit once from Sainsbury's on sale. That looks like gum. Is it gum? Gum. It, it, it is it gum. It still tastes like soap. What? Well, we should save the gum for the end, shouldn't we? It's purple gum. I don't chew gum very often. We've never been sent gum. This is a very interesting one. I like a smint here and there. We had to save it to the end. Do you want it now? No, we could do it now. I want it all. I want it right now. I want it right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it bad? Oh is it a joke? God. Maybe it's a joke. I've got a theory Are about this. Are these supposed to be edible? Are they pranks? Is it a prank food? Was it a prank? It tastes like you've gone, you've walked into your local Lush store, mouth open first. Yeah, but chew it for longer. Top. Chew it for longer because I that... won't be doing that. No. It's lavender flavoured. It's That's fucking it is. soap. So I quite like flower flavoured stuff. I thought they were going to be violet flavoured, which I was very excited about. That is the most appalling thing because I really like the, the taste of violet. Lavender is it's very... It's like a bath bomb. It's lavender. I'm sure it is. Is it a prank? There we go. There we go. It, it's a very difficult flavour to use because it's so powerful. But I quite like that. It's nice. I'm nice it so offended by that. And I'm in purple today, so the whole thing is completely perfect. It's fucking awful. Stop swearing. You're always swearing. Oh, again with this bitch. So this is just... Is it like... Is it just sherbet? Oh, it's sherbet. I mean, sherbet surely is just like a... Is sherbet. I don't know, flavour. Because we're still tasting soap. Do other countries have a sherbet fountain, like a tube of sherbet, and you dip licorice in it, you suck it and then dip it in? But oh. the problem with sherbet is exactly this. You get a bit of saliva on it, and then all of a sudden it looks like someone's wet asshole on sand. That's just candy cheeks. That's disgusting. Oh my god. Do you remember the sand gay? What? That viral video. Well, I can't use that as a cutaway, can no, I? Do you remember? When? Available at Toy Story? Yeah. When he just like burped a load of sand out of his butthole. <laughs> what are people doing? Humpty Dumpty. Sour straws. straws. Now I right. can tell that Meg Ann Robinson will like this because she loves pink strawberry flavoured stuff. Nipple piercings and bras. We have strawberry cables, don't we? And laces. Oh, Megan is going to have these. They're great. Oh my God. Sour. No, is she fucking hell? I'm are having really them. They're really sour. No, they're not sour at all. I don't know why... Candy does that sometimes. I should have bought in like, do that again. I should have bought in something to like wash our hands with. I'll just wipe it on your clothes. Nerds. <laughs> I love nerds. We get nerds. I haven't had nerds in years. But these are big mm. chewy ones. Oh. oh my God. What the fuck? Is this a piece of your brain? They smell nice though. They literally look like little brains. They're amazing. How are they like, so juicy? The outside is very, very crunchy. The inside is immediately sort of soft and gooey. They're Lemon, just... strawberry, orange and grape. Oh, not grape is shit. These are like the small ones, but big. <laughs> what is this? This is big juicy naturals. <laughs> That's a... Okay, cut that bit. <laughs> now this is panda natural soft licorice. Okay, what, is... what the fuck is licorice? Is it like a herb? It's a polar bear. Now, whereas those Twizzlers, I'm guessing is just like the cheapest, shittest kind of licorice you can get. That is black as you like. It's like soft and like pliable. Oh, and the inside's brown. That's how you know it's real. Mmm. I kind of want to try it because it looks really intriguing. It's very licorice but it's also a bit malty. <laughs> that is day. Do you not think that maybe Shannon is at home crying right now? 
Oh. Because you are so cold hearted. I'm crying right now. Your bum will be crying in a minute. Yeah, well, because of all the spicy food we have. <laughs> that is horrible. Well, you just don't like licorice, do you? So why would you like it? What did you expect? Because you told me I like it. You lolly titted idiot. <laughs> Ooh, this looks good. Sweet shopper. We have happy shopper. Happy shoppy. They've spelled shop wrong. <laughs> $1.25. You could have stretched a bit more, couldn't you? <laughs> cherry sours, bonbon sur au cerises. <laughs> They're just cherry sweets. Don't overthink it. Okay, um, no. They're very rough and like fucked up. They look homemade. Ooh. Oh. They're like jelly beans. But the cherry flavour is so intense. They're horrible. They're just jelly, it's jelly bean consistency. I feel like I'm sucking on a cherry scented gel pen. I wonder though if you've sent stuff that's just like commonly eaten and enjoyed in Canada or if again, some of these are, are slightly specific. A kid might enjoy that, but wow. Oh my God, it's an O. Henry. O. Henry. O. Henry. Oh Mary Alice, what did you do? I've, I've heard of them, I've never tried one before, so this is interesting, but it looks like it's a peanut butter Variety. I don't believe that oh. they are. Is that not normal? I don't think so. Oh, it's literally just like nutty. It's a bit nutty. But it kind of feels like a fancy Snickers. I feel like Claire Sappitz tried to make a sniff Snickers and came up with that. Do you know what I mean? Score! Butter toffee crunch enrobed in which enrobed? Who are they doing? Enrobed is fucking red. Butter toffee crunch in milk chocolate. It sounds like a dime. It's a dime bar. I never liked dime bar. Oh, is this gonna be like hard in the middle? Mmm. Is it really hard in the middle? Not really hard. I don't wanna fuck up my teeth. If you nibble a bit on the end, you should be okay. You've had a mm. dime bar before. Mmm, that's really nice. I don't know, I keep saying dime bar and you're not weighing in. I don't really remember what a dime bar is like. I know the packaging. It's got like a snap in the logo and it's like, I've got biscuit in it, a dime bar. No. You twat. <laughs> Butter toffee. That's it's like butterscotch. It's like Werther's Originals. It's really nice stuff. Well, I seem to remember not really liking dime bars, but if that's what a dime bar is, I need to reevaluate some things. I've got to make some calls. Mr. Big. Don't call me that when the camera's right. <laughs> that's the closest one to a lion bar. Lion bars are good, aren't they? Because this is puffed rice. There's got a wafer biscuit in the middle, which is strange. Oh, <gasps> this looks great. Mmm. Mm, Doesn't chocolate mm. covered puffed rice suck so good? I would take Mr. Big home. Coffee crisp. This is like a wafer thing, but this literally says on it, proudly prepared in Canada. So this is like primo Canadian. And I'm going to be trying the crispy delight. This looks like one of those thingies. What? A doorstop? The water bed. Sexy wafer moment. Coffee. That's really nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. That's so surprising. A coffee crisp. That's really nice. Has immediately gone to the top of the pile. Well, so and like there's a very gentle, it's soft not coffee taste, but a it's strong. like refreshing almost. It's not overpowering. It's quite overpowering. That's Is really there good. shit all over my lips, probably? No. Is there over mine? Apart from the colour. Well, this also looks great though. This is a crispy delight, which looks like chocolate with bits of, I don't know, something in it. Arsenic. Like Maltesers. Ma yeah. Oh, like Maltesers, Maltesers are great, aren't they? <laughs> no, give me. Nah, no, hang on one second though. <laughs> what I'm about to give you <laughs> is going to change your life. I know, I need you to understand <laughs> It is a fucking delight. I don't know if I like it. You don't deserve <laughs> crispy delight. You don't deserve crispy delight. <laughs> so you're not gonna get it. Do you understand me? I'll have the corn nuts instead. Wow, what a trade. Wow, what a hat. <laughs> wow, wow, what a dick. Warheads. This, I, look like, I feel like, has a similar logo to Toxic Waste. Now that's a well-known thing, isn't it? North America, Warheads. It's got gelatin in it, so I can't have it. Grow up. I went to see my family in Hawaii once and they gave me a sour cream. Which sour candy? Can you? No one cares, darling. <laughs> no one cares at all. You're not a tank plastics. The smell is suspicious though. Is this, this gonna be so sour I'm gonna not want it? See, it's not even like the remotest bit sour. 
You put a picture of this person on the front doing that with their face and call it so sour and then it's not even sour. What is the point in that? This is one of the cutest things in the whole box. Mm. Like towards the, end. the rest are lollipops, so I thought I'd leave mm. them to the very end. But this is adorable. This is a maple leaf Leclerc cookie. How cute is this? Leclerc. What does Leclerc mean? I don't know. That's the brand. How big are they, I wonder? I don't want my teeth. Leclerc. I'm not going to eat my teeth. Are you going to eat yours? Yeah. Oh, they're small. They're maple leaf cookies. Oh, what they got in the middle of them? Like a maple flavoured something, do you think? Oh, they smell like maple syrup. They do so it's smell a small like syrup. maple leaf shaped biscuit with a very pale beige kind of maple leclerc. Ah! They're a bit like Fox's Golden Crunch. Mm. Remember those? Top tier biscuit. I think Fox's Golden Crunch are the best kind of biscuit here, like a cookie you can get if you're American. We get these. Oh, I love double lollies. Swiss Swizzlers, is that what they're yes. called? Yes, so here? we literally have these. They're very- I'm not gonna try one. Not gonna I'm not gonna try one either, but this we do not have. It's those lollies where they're kind of powdery. They're really good. I prefer the look of yours though. It looks a lot more kind of like 50s carnival. So this is so weird. This is a lolly, but in the mm. middle there's gum. Oh yeah. Bon Bon Boom. I feel like that's not that weird. Well, we can't possibly have one of those because we'll be sucking it for ages. Flick it. No, I don't know if I like that. That was horny though, wasn't it? Oh, what <laughs> the fuck flavor is that? Strawberry. No, it's not. It tastes like Polly Pocket's asshole. <laughs> to see if you can like crack it in half. No, don't break your teeth, it's too hard. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Fancy asking it. me to break a lollipop in half with my teeth and then being like, don't do that. <laughs> Okay, but it's just disgusting. Why did I bother? You know what gum's like. That gum was disgusting. I'm gonna keep that, I quite liked it. Now listen, Shannon, we have to thank you so much because you sent us some gorgeous accessories. Really, really wide variety of snacks. I love that we had so many things here that I've never like tasted an equivalent of. Beverages, that Rockstar Punch beverage was great. Some of those chocolate bars, I would say were up there with Smash. The some of them. Crisp. The coffee crisp, I think, is smash level good. I would say. Oh, I think that's getting a bit ahead of yourself, but that's good. I like the maple biscuits. Do you want to get to fuck? Bottom line is, you have restored our faith in Canada. Yes, maybe Canada, you do know how to do snack foods. Yeah, we're still mad at Bulgaria. <laughs> Zero points. Thank you so much for your generosity. It does not go unnoticed. Thank you unnoticed. so much. This must have taken a very long time to curate. And we're going to- very thoughtful and kind. Share this with people. Um, if you'd like more of our absolute garbo, then we have a Patreon, don't we, Nova? Yes. Ho! What you gonna do with all that ash? I have a Twitch. Oh yeah. We should get that seen too. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the guys over on the Patron get birthday shout outs, including Nova. But not limited to. But not limited to. So um, we've skipped, missed a couple of weeks, we had some time off, mm. and we've just done the DragCon video. So, well, time off from videos, not really yes. time off. No, it was not <laughs> a fucking wish. time off at all. <laughs> but we are going back a little bit with the birthday, so we're playing mm. catch up a little bit. So, mm. for January 1st, happy birthday, Caitlin. Happy birthday, Caitlin. Um, for January 3rd, it was Chloe's birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday, Chloe. And then for the 4th and 5th, respectively, Creepy Boo and Kristen Riviello, happy birthday Creepy to the two Boo of you. Creepy Boo and who? Kristen. Kristen. Yes. Happy birthday, Kristen. Actually, I think we had a chocolate Kristen somewhere around here. January 6th, happy birthday to Simple Dim. Happy birthday. January 7th, we've got three birthdays. Happy birthday to Foxy Jen. Happy birthday, Foxy. Happy birthday, Stevie. Happy birthday, Stevie. And happy birthday to Rebecca Spence. And happy birthday, Rebecca. Thank you so much, everyone, for being a member of the Novimpia. Thank you cult. so much. We love you so Patreon much. Patreon lifestyle. Yes. All the best. Warmest regards. Best wishes. Season's greetings. Oh, that's it. What do you want to do now? We need to tidy up and shoot the next video. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Harper, Shania Twain to our brand new patrons, Alex Chavez, Bay CM, Holly Will, Silver, Charlie Mill, Rebecca Spence, Brandon's Flooded Basement, Jem Coman, Andre Alexander, Elizabeth R77 and Andrew Herman. Downstairs, if I try and sit on the bowl, my ass gets wedged in between the two walls because it's so narrow. That's not very good. And so. I can't sit on it. It's also very, very small. You can't open a window. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.